All right, today I'm going to show you how to make an emergency candle out of a baby food jar. Uh, whenever you're working with materials like this that can break or something sharp, you always want to try to have as much protection as you can. See, I have gloves and ballistic grade glasses. If there's anything that happens, you get cut or something scrapes and gets in your eye, it can turn life-threatening in a survival situation. All right, basically, all you got to do is take off the top. You don't want to have it onto the glass when you actually go to put the hole in the top because it could possibly break the glass. You know, I have just a little hole punch tool on my multi-tool. You want to go in from the top to make it to where any of the uh, protruding metal will be on the inside of the jar. You have your fuel source, I used ethyl rubbing alcohol. I found this to work best. And just fill it up. And then for my wick, I just used an old sock that I cut. It went about the length of the sock and is about a quarter inch wide. You stick it in there. Feed it through the hole. And then seal the lid. Now, if you're worried about the glass breaking, what I do, I got my dryer lint here and an old peanut butter jar. And you can either leave the baby food in the jar to uh, eat it if you need something to eat when you're out walking around. Or as you can see, I already have these prepped with my alcohol and the wick in there. There's just no hole, so it's not going to leak out as much. It still could possibly leak, but not very much. Stick that in there. You can even uh, throw in a box of matches if you wanted to. Some more dryer lint. This is to help prevent it from breaking, and even if it does break, you're going to contain it with inside the peanut butter jar. So you get that sealed up, and then you can just throw this right into your bug out bag. And in my test, I burned it this for about an hour and a little less than half of the alcohol was used up. So for a little two and a half ounce jar, you can get anywhere between two and a half to four hours of light. I came inside because you couldn't really see the flame outside. But uh, as you can see, I'm holding this glass. The glass didn't get very warm after my hour of the test. The lid was a little hot, but it wasn't hot enough to burn me. You still probably don't want to put this on anything that can burn or melt in case it spills or gets hotter as it burns longer. And if you look close, the sock isn't actually burned very much. It was just the alcohol burning off of it. Not that that's important to your survival, just a neat little fact. And remember, these are good things to know, but make sure that you actually practice it, stay prepared, stay alive.